By non-invasive stimulation, we improved healthy subjects' ability to navigate from position A to position B to another position and back. The experimental setup consists of three different technologies. There's on one hand non-invasive deep brain stimulation, which allows to reach deep structure deep in the brain, doing this uh, non-invasively by placing electrodes on the skull. And we combine this with VR, virtual reality task, and we brought to a functional MRI scanner so that at the same time we can record brain activity in regard of the stimulation and the spatial navigation. In this study, we wanted to see if we apply this current, can we reach deep structures? Hippocampus and entorhinal cortex, two structures, very important key for spatial navigation, how we would navigate in this area that we're sitting here, going to a chair over there, going to a target over there, how do we find our way back? Think about a virtual game-like navigation arena, and there's going to be a guitar at one place, there's going to be a house at another place, and you have to find this and navigate there with a the joystick as quickly as possible. Combined with VR, it can be well thought about to bring it to home of the, of the patients. And by this, the, the treatment intensity you can massively uh, enhance compared to what one can do in a hospital. And these two ingredients, they offer a very interesting, novel, disruptive way of uh, thinking about treating patients with chronic neurological or psychiatric disorders to allow them to receive treatment in a home-based fashion with a very high intensity.